Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a review on a custom ROM by DJ Stevens. It is called Ginger Streak 2.4.4. Now let me just show you that I do have it. Um, I haven't done a review on a custom ROM for a while, mainly because I haven't found a ROM that's stable enough to use on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, this one's, I've downloaded it and I've had it for a while and I think it is pretty stable enough to um, do a review on. Now, if you can see right there, I am running Android version 2.3.3 and it is build number Ginger Streak 2.4.4. Now, if we go back to our settings, um, it does give you the options in applications where you can add an source, manage applications, development, and stuff like that. Uh, which you could actually add uh, cracked apps. Uh, it does come pre-installed with Super User. So um, I like this little scrolly and colored icon thing. Now if we go to our apps, it does give you the basic app bundle. Uh, it comes with the Facebook gallery, Gmail, email, downloads, uh, Google search and stuff like that. Um, super User and it does come as a um, Hagrid keyboards. Now let me just show you what the keyboard is basically it. It's a pretty decent keyboard depending on how you use your ginger streak. Your ginger streak. Oh my god, your Dell streak, sorry. Um, let me just, that's the thumbs keyboard. Let me just activate the hackers keyboard. And then as you can see, it gives you like this uh, numbers on the top, your keyboard here, your little arrows here. Um, if you go to, I believe it's Finn, you get F1, F2. Kind of lets you do. Um, those uh, things that you weren't able to do other than on your computer because you will need the F7, F2 and stuff like that. <clears throat> Page up, escape, control, delete, and home. Um, I don't think it does anything when you press home. Uh, maybe it has something to do depending on the software you're at or in the application you're in. Um, now, uh, as far as stability and speed, it's pretty decent. Uh, I am, this app, this, um, custom ROM is an install file custom ROM, so you get to pick your own launchers. This is a launcher that I have that goes great with the Ginger Streak, um, 2.4.4, and I'm gonna do a video on, on exactly the launcher. It's a honeycomb launcher and how it goes great with the ginger shirkin because if you guys want to know how to get it and stuff um <clears throat> and the only reason the only way you'll be able to actually get it if you actually get the ginger streak um custom rom on because you do know that uh on marketplace you'll be able to access certain applications that you weren't able to using regular uh dell streak uh for 2.2 .2 or 2.2.2 <clears throat> Now let's go ahead and take a look at the modifications I did on the camera. Now when it comes to camera, um, it does give you uh, an array, oh, it's on right there, but my hair, sorry if you got to see my hair. Um, it does give you the option to do settings uh, right from your thing, so it gives you a lot more options. It gives you a scene mode, you can pick portrait, landscape, night, snow, sports. Um, picture size, you want meg 5 megapixels, 3 megapixels, VGA, whatever. Um, super fine quality, your banning, um, your shutter sound on and off, or whatever. Uh, if you go to camera, it will give you the same um, options. It gives you the HD 720, the DV, whatever, the max 30 seconds MMS for if you're doing a video and you don't want to go over your MMS. Um, compatibility to send out or, or limit. Um, you can just pick from there, your banding, your brightness, same thing. Um, if we go to camera, it's basically the same thing for both. So I'm just going to stick with the camera one. Um, it gives you the store location, the auto white, which you can pick, pick uh, a daylight or whatever you want. Uh, it gives you um, the option to turn off and on your flash. Uh, it allows you to zoom using this. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I don't know. 
It's, it actually works. Everything in the camera. What I do like is that now you won't have to click on the little um, menu button over here. You'll be actually able to just switch right from your skin from back to front camera. So, oh, my hair. Sorry guys, I didn't get to comb my hair that probably. That's why I'm hiding. I always get this from my... I got bangs. Big mistake. So... Anyways, uh, when you take a picture, let's get it back, let's take a picture, I don't know if you noticed, you heard that little sound and stuff like that, um, they did some pretty decent mods to this uh, custom firmware and I kind of like it. Um, it's stable, I haven't had a crash, the only crash I did have was for the email, but that's because I wanted to have the Galaxy Tab email format thingy on it, but I flashed it over. It was a big mistake. So, anyways, um, one thing is I don't know if you keep noticing the little lights. lights um, whenever your your phone is about to go into lock mode or hibernation mode, whatever you want to call it, um, the lights will blink. So, kind of giving you a little warning, like, hey, wake me up or do something before I close down. And now, uh, when you close it down, though, I don't know if you'll notice that little thing that just happened right now. See, I'll, I'll kind of like close out like this. I thought that was kind of a cute animation. Pretty decent. Uh, so that's basically it. Once again, this is the custom run by DJ Stevens um, Streak. No, Ginger Streak 2.4.4. Um, you will be able to uh, get it either if you go to the XDA forum or uh, just follow the link I'm going to have in the description. I usually uh, have all the links there to download your your separate um, download all the files necessary to do it and um, just follow my other video if you want to know how to do the uh, custom ROM how to add a custom ROM to your Dell streak and that's it so don't forget to rate comment subscribe and y'all have a good day